praying for. You've been praying for what? That the owner will wake up one morning and give it to us. <sighs> that who would wake up when and give you what? Mr. Bogardus, the owner. That's what we're praying for. Oh, woman, great is thy faith. <laughs> well, if faith can move mountains, well... Mm, you figured you could just move right in, huh? <laughs> yes. Oh, you got to be practical, let's face it. Does the owner know anything about this? Anybody asking? No, we just prayed. That's where you could help us. Well, what do I do when he says no? It's a holiday. Who's this coming here? Well, that's Mr. Bogardus. I think we'd better go now. And you can tell him why the children aren't in school. You want me to say anything about the building? Some other time. Hey, hey, you, here. Well, what's going on here? You see that fence? Yeah. Do you see what those children are? Who are you? Well, I'm the new pastor. Oh, you are, eh? Well, I want you to see to it that those little brats are punished. I'll take care of it, Mr. Bogardus. I will censure them severely. Oh, so you know who I am, huh? Yes, I do. Are you the fellow I'm supposed to do business with? Well, I've been sent here by my superiors to make some recommendations, if that's what you mean. I've been looking over the school. Oh, you have, eh? Well, there you are. What do you think of it? Looks pretty tired. <laughs> tired, eh? Tired's no name for it. And if you don't sell it to me, uh, you got my offer, didn't you? I got it right here in my pocket. Well, what do you say? It's a difficult decision to make. I, I can't jump at it, you know. Well, I warn you, if you don't sell it to me, it's going to be condemned. By whom? City Council. How do you know? I'm chairman. Oh, oh you are, huh? <laughs> You're darn right I am. <laughs> and when they order you to tear it down, you've got to pay for it. You look like a practical man, father. I do? Well, take my word for it. There's not a mother or father in the parish that wouldn't rather see their children over at St. Victor's. Fine, modern building. Everything up to date. Sunlight, good heat in the winter. I wouldn't think of sending my children into that fire trap. You have any children? No. Well, that's a long story. Oh, skip it. All right. Just being practical, Mr. Bogardus, how far do the children have to go to get to St. Victor's? Just about as far as I had to go when I was a child. Well, well, let's walk over. Well, why not take my car? Can't walk too much. I got a bad ticket. Let's ride out to St. Victor's and take a look. Now you're talking. All you got to do is close this school and send the children over to St. Victor's. Sell the property to you. That's right. It's that simple. Well, you can always find me. I'm here all day and every day. <laughs> I promise I won't make a move without talking to you. Take a little while, though. I'm a pretty slow thinker. Well, you don't look it to me. No, sir. <laughs> Goodbye. Father. How do you do? Are, uh, are you in charge of the school here? Well, that's a question. I have some authority. Hmm. Uh, you look like a man who could understand my language. Well, let's find out. Start talking. I'd like very much to put my daughter in school here. Mm hmm You see, uh, well, I, I think it'd be better if she was away from me for a while. Could she board? Might be arranged. But why did you... Does she need any references? I mean, well, you have to know very much about her background. Oh, yes. That, that is customary. Well, um, it's like this. I, I ran away from home when I was very young to get married. And Stop me if you've heard this, Father. 
He left me a long time ago in, in Syracuse. Thirteen years to be exact. Did she get married? Oh, yes. After a little argument. Uh, I, th I think he was a little afraid of settling down. Uh, he was a piano player. Oh. He had a wonderful smile, Father. How Betty had. Uh, very like yours. He had a little band. Kind of, um, a, a non-recording orchestra. Did you ever hear of Gallagher's Gambleers? No. Did anyone else? I doubt it. Well, uh, anyway, the, the little band got an offer to uh, play in Cincinnati. And, and he promised as soon as he got a few dollars ahead, he'd, he'd send for me. So you were left alone in Syracuse? Till the baby came. You've been supporting her all this time? Mm-hmm. I suppose you're wondering as to how. So is she. She's, um, she's getting to be a big girl now, Father, and she's beginning to think I'm no good. I want to put her in your care before she finds out she's right. Well, I feel anyone who's as much concerned about their daughter as you are isn't doing too badly. If there was anything really wrong with you, you wouldn't give a darn. Joe was the only man I was ever really in love with. But... Well, if you care as much for Joe as you say, uh, why didn't you ever look him up? I wouldn't... I wouldn't know where to start. Besides... He ran out on me, Father. Oh, well, that's it. Well, I'll do the best I can for you. You send your daughter to see me, what's her name? Patricia. Patricia. I tell you, I'll, I'll make a deal with you. I'll take care of your daughter. You'll take care of yourself. Thank you, Father. Father. O'Malley. O'Malley. Well, goodbye, Mrs. Gallagher. Goodbye. Father. Mm -hmm. There's a young lady calling to see you. Oh, yes. Yeah. Send her in. Miss Gallagher? Yes, Father. I've made arrangements for you to board across the street with Mrs. Breen. Oh, that would be just lovely. My board, take your bags. Eddie, take those bags over and put them in the back bedroom. Okay, Mom. Well, Patricia. I think the sisters were expecting someone much younger, and so was I. Oh, well, I, I was trying to look older, Father. I've been out looking for work. I thought maybe I could quit school and take a job. I was up real early answering ads. I'm perfectly able to take care of myself. Mm-hmm. Well, Patsy, I think you're going to be very happy here at St. Mary's. You're going to enjoy every minute of it. You'll find that life can be very bright, very beautiful here. Look at the character that came off. Let me take a look at you now. Oh, that's fine. Yes, sir. You just give us a chance, Patsy, and we'll fix you up. What do we got here? What are you smuggling? What is, what is this here? What is this? It's a rat, Father. Well, you'll find around here that you can't even wear even a small <laughs> mouse. <laughs> Things are brightening up already, aren't they? Oh, goodness. Holy Toledo. Look at <laughs> You You sent for me, sister? Yes, Patricia. I wanted to talk to you. You're falling behind in your studies. If the work is too hard for you, Patsy, I'll be glad to help you. If there's anything I, well, I can do... Well, that isn't it, Sister Height. I guess I'm just sort of a featherhead. Don't you like school? You're holding back on me, Patsy. What's troubling you? Nothing, Sister. If you'll only work a little harder, you'll get good marks. 
We want to send your mother a nice report card. You want your mother to be proud of you, don't you? That's all, Patsy. You may go. Thank you, sister. Hi, Pat. Hi. How's she doing? Not very well. Oh, no? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. When we accepted this child, it was on your recommendation. Mm -hmm. We know very little about her parents. What kind of a home life did she have? Oh, you know, the usual... Uh... You, you said you met her mother. Oh, yes, yes, I have. Do you know Mrs. Gallagher well? Mm, yes, yes, I know her quite well. And her father, did you meet him? No, but I've heard about him. What is his occupation? He's a uh, musician. They tell me he has a charming personality, too. I like people who like music, don't you? Are they separated? Yes. Is there anything, anything that I should know that would help? Well, no, that's, that's all that I... Uh... Care to tell? Well, yes. Did anyone ever tell you that you have a dishonest face? For a priest, I mean. Break it up. I'll knock your two heads together. The winner. Yeah, you're pretty shifty, aren't you? Let's see how you operate here. Hey. Whoop. Can't lay a glove on you. Look at your shoe. <laughs> you got to watch all Eddie. the time. Eddie, come over here. You better go inside and wash your face. Why don't you fight back, Eddie? You're a pretty handy lad. What's your name? Tommy Smith, Father. Tommy Smith. Well, keep your head up now. Yes, Father. He's all right. I think you better speak to Tommy, Father. He's a new boy here, and I'm afraid he's a troublemaker. Oh, he's a good fighter, though. We don't tolerate fighting in this school. I think you better speak to him, because if he continues to pick fights, we may have to send him to another school. Oh, but aren't we supposed to be educators, sister? I mean, uh... Instead of sending him away, let's try and correct him. I observed very little correction in your attitude, Father. As a matter of fact, I detected a slight note of pride. <laughs> Naturally, I like to see a lad who can take care of himself. On the outside, it's, it's a man's world. How are they doing, Father? <laughs> I'm not doing too good, but you know what I mean. Uh, sometimes a man has to fight his way through. Wouldn't it be better to, to think your way through? Well, that's pure conjecture, of course, from someone on the inside. It's very well put, though. But don't you think sometimes in raising boys, a, a woman's influence can be carried too far? Oh. You mean they may become sisters, Father? Yes, yes, that's right. Well, well, you look after Tommy, and I look after Eddie, who lost the fight because he listened to me. Eddie? Yes, sister? Come up here and I will fix you. Let me look at that. Tell me, how did all this happen? I was going along, minding my own business, when Tommy trips me. Although I was very ma mad, I, I control myself, sister, just like you said. And I said to him, why'd you do that? Then what did he say? Didn't say anything. Just hold off and hit me right here. Oh, fine thing. Now well, then, what did you do? I remembered what you said, sister. And I turned the other cheek. Then he really let me have it. Well, you're a very good boy, Eddie. I turned away to ignore him, and then he kicked me. I'm very proud of you. I don't feel so hot. No, no, Eddie, but, but you really won a victory over Tommy. Did I, sister? Yes. You were really the better man. 
You and I know that. Nobody else knows it. To tell you the truth, I don't know it. I don't think anybody was proud of me. And even Father...